Joshua Wilson, a professor of political science at Denver University, has written several books, including The New States of Abortion Politics and The Street Politics of Abortion. He joins us now from Denver in Colorado. Good to have you with us, uh, Professor. Our correspondent in D.C. just confirmed to us that the U.S. Chief Justice John Roberts has confirmed the authenticity of that leaked draft opinion that essentially overrules Roe v. Wade. Roberts has called the leak egregious and ordered an investigation. I'm wondering, uh, what are your thoughts about this extraordinary leak? How could it have happened and what would the motivation be? Yeah, so it, uh, it's reasonable to understand how it happened, but it's still incredibly exceptional. I can't think of any uh, similar leak of a Supreme Court draft opinion at all. As for motivations, you can think about this in a few different ways, because we don't know who did it and what their exact motivations were, but you can maybe see it uh, if somebody who's trying to defend abortion rights wanted to publicize this to maybe try to exert some public pressure on some of the justices or to spur uh, the federal legislature to try to act to protect abortion rights. Or on the other side, if somebody was invested in returning Roe versus Wade, this might be a way to introduce that so that it's kind of a slower rollout. And also, it really is coupled with this story of the leak, which kind of defrays attention just from the legal story to this other story about the leak. Now, abortion has always been a lightning rod issue in the United States compared with other similar countries where it's a medical procedure that's less controversial, it's less politicised. Why does abortion continue to become uh, this lightning rod controversial issue uh, even in this day and age? Yeah, no, that's a great question. It's actually a pretty complicated answer, but the short version of this is the rise of abortion as a political issue in the United States was coupled with the rise of conservatism in the United States, specifically conservatism within the Republican Party. And it's really been a central part of the way that conservatives have reached out to groups like white evangelical uh, Protestants and how they've pulled them into the conservative coalition, and also how they've introduced the conservative coalition to a wider range of political issues. And so abortion was central to this effort of building a conservative coalition, and thus it's helped politicize it and keep it active over time. And then we can also think of other things like the court has had a regular series of rulings on abortion, which kind of change the parameters of the debate and keep it alive over time. OK, Professor uh, Joshua Wilson, we will have to leave it there, but we really appreciate your analysis. Thank you again for joining us.